Good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. Every time there's a video, I'm cycling this Let's Play Train Simulator. If you're staying on my playlist as you uh, go through all the videos, thank you for sticking with me. This is a great route. You're, if you decide to drive this one yourself, you're going to enjoy this. But in the meantime, uh, we're getting back into the Bonstrek Leipzig Dresden, and we're going to stick with the Talent 2 today, uh, the 1442, because we are absolutely talented. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. I'll, uh, I think I explained this at the end of the last video. I'm not going to explain this again. Uh, so we're going to play the actual scenario in the actual slot this time. And let's uh, get started on that, shall we? Good morning, driver. Please set up the cab and allow passengers to board here at Leipzig. I really do not like these white boxes. I'm just going to be honest. I don't like these white boxes. Let's hide the HUD for a moment. I didn't notice it was up when we started or not. But let's turn the headlights on. Let's turn the instrument lights on. There we go. Uh, there's not much else to really do here. We don't need wipers, so we are otherwise pretty much all set. Let's go ahead and get a look at our train. Oh, I didn't open the doors. Yeah, don't forget to open the doors or you're not going to get credit for your first stop, doofus. Uh, let's look at the train as our passengers board. off our first stop at Leipzig marked I thought this had a hyphen but apparently according to the HUD it doesn't so um, yeah Leipzig marked it is and we are off to our first station on this journey we have six stops today let's do a very very quick itinerary review because we don't have a lot of time we're going to Leipzig marked we're gonna go to Wilhelm Luschner Platz we're gonna continue to uh, Bayerischer Bahnhof MDR something I don't dare say and then Stotteritz and that's gonna be the end of our journey today That was a less than perfect uh, move into uh, braking power there. I probably didn't need a brake quite yet when I did that. But I already did, so we're going to do it. We'll settle for it. You can't really pull into this station on time at all. There's almost no way to do it. So you're going to have to accept being uh, late to some extent. And uh, looks like there's only a really small gap between the stairs. So you're supposed to park on both sides of the stairs, I guess. Uh, so we are arriving at Leipzig Mark. Let's open the doors. That's our first stop of six today. So off to our next stop at Leipzig Wilhelm Loeschner Platz. Leaving Leipzig marked. Our next stop is as prescribed. I like that each of these underground stations was able to be given its own little flair, its own little design. And I know they're meant to be based on real life. Um, but even in the game environment, they each have their own little, um, their little knack for being recognizable. You, you recognize them immediately. It's not like some of the overground stations where a lot of the graphics are the same. Uh, you have the same platform on the edge and all that. You actually get to really see underground what each station looks like in the underground design. It really does look nice. Like this one has a nice silver look to it. You know right away it's Wilhelm Luschner Flats. You also notice that I'm going way too fast. I'm gonna make. It, I'm gonna still stop before the the uh, tunnel, which is ideal. But uh, I didn't mean to go that far in. So there you go. Good for our timings, though. Arrival at Leipzig Wilhelm Luschner Platz. Alright, off to Leipzig Bayerischer Bahnhof. So, 
using my usual spiel, leaving Leipzig Wilhelm Luschner Platz. Our next stop is Leipzig Bayerischer Bahnhof. If you ever see a station that has colorful tubes along the ceiling, that's Leipzig Bayerischer Bahnhof, ladies and gentlemen. And there we are, arrival at Leipzig Bayerischer Bahnhof. Action. And our next stop, as you can see, so leaving Leipzig Bayerischer Bahnhof, our next stop is Leipzig MBR. And I'm not going into detail about arrival times because they're all very close to each other. The only one I'm going to worry about is the uh, one after this because we had a little bit of a distance before that one. You can also see that we have daylight approaching. No, not daylight! I will melt! <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm not a vampire. I shouldn't do that. And vampires don't sound like that. So uh, let's uh, embrace the daylight. Of course, that means you have to hug the daylight. Ah, daylight. Breathe, my friends. Yes, breathe. And let's not speed. And let's slow down immediately. Oh, not, not immediately. That was a little too soon to slow down. A little uh, unfortunate there because we are already showing to be late on the clock. So that's very unfortunate. Now we're going to do a very, very quick stop. I may overshoot the platform here. Oh, that's actually coming down very nicely. I just took it off because I was shooting down very nicely. So there we are, arrival at Leipzig MDR. Doors are open. Oh boy. Uh, leaving Leipzig MDR, our next stop is Leipzig Volkenschleck Denkmal. Eh? I'm getting better at it. By tomorrow, I will have completely forgotten how to say it again. So the other line is apparently clear for 60. I'm a little confused. But I'm pretty sure there's a train somewhere on that line. I'm going to hold our power right here for the time being because this downhill is pretty steep. We're going to gain some pretty good speed on it. We're just going to have to hit the brakes anyway if we end up speeding down this hill. I think I measured it enough that I don't have to worry about brakes here. In fact, it's easing off, so I'm going to put the... Uh, there we go. That didn't want to go on. That thrall did not want to go on for a moment. Now we're going to put it back on. Up to 25% power. As we pull off this 30.0 level gradient, or 30.0 gradient, not level at all, we're going to have to pull the gas back. There we go. On to coast. And the line just changed ahead. I was about to comment on that line ahead not being set for us, but it looks like it is now set for us to head into 
Leipzig Stotteritz platform two. That's where we're going to be finishing our journey today. But for right now, we are half a kilometer from Leipzig Volkerschlechtdenkmal. You see the uh, signal with the three. That does not mean that there's only three uh, croissants left at the bar. Go grab one. I'm being told that's the case, right? Am I, is that right? Okay, I'm being told that I'm right. That's not what it means. What it means is that there's going to be a speed limit change ahead. You can probably figure out what that is on your own without me having to guide you. That train over there is the opposite train to what we're doing. It's basically going in the other direction, doing the same service. Same service, other direction. And we've now arrived at Leipzig Vulcan Schlecht Denkmo. We're going to open the doors, which I almost forgot to do. I hear a freight train approaching. Uh, next stop is going to be Leipzig Stotteris. That is our final stop. So leaving Leipzig Volkerschlechtdenkmal on the way to Leipzig Stotteris. Speed limit is 30 in this section. So we are going to uh, try to be one of the ones to get the last three croissants at the bar. No, I'm still wrong. Okay, fine. I'm still wrong. Okay, there are four. Uh, that's the uh, aluminum freight train going by. We're not going to be doing any of those freight services in these scenarios. We are going to have a freight service of our own coming up on scenario number seven, which will be coming at a later time. I want to explore the rest of the um, mainline DLC for the Leipzig section, or for the uh, Dresden to Rice section as well. So I'm kind of cutting myself short on these scenarios because there's only going to be two of these left, plus the uh, cab car scenario. But, uh, you know, we got to see... Um, we gotta see the new stuff while it's new, right? So I will be coming back to the Dresden route at some point looking at the other scenarios on the main route as well as uh, the last two here. Make sure you like the video and subscribe to the channel to see those videos when they come up. My playlist will be updated as well. So we're going to stop for these lovely people. I went, went to go a little further to try and give them access to the door immediately. And uh, we got the door in the next seven seconds. So let's get it open. So there it is. We have arrived at Leipzig Stotteritz Platform 2. That should be a perfect score. Let's take a look at our train. By the way, shout out to the uh, people who dressed the route as and put the scenery in the route. Uh, that is an actual German notice that I cannot read on the... Uh, sign on the billboard there that is really nice touch to have something like that in there so uh very very nice touch gotta give credit to the people who do the uh, dressing on this anyway that's our fifth scenario we're gonna go ahead and leave this route for a little while we're gonna go and do um i can actually say now they have announced dtg has announced that there's a subway route coming out i kind of want to take a look at it because i've always wanted to see a subway in this game and see how those operate so it looks like there's gonna be a subway in glasgow coming out that we want to take a look at I'm going to see if we can do that because that comes out on Thursday. That would be tomorrow based on when I'm uploading this video. So I'm going to have to uh, now run and get that done and get those uh, videos up before I get too far behind again. So I've got more projects to do, guys. Uh, we're going to take a look at that DLC next. In the meantime, well done, driver. That was a good run. Now, if you do want to see more of this route, there will be more videos added to this playlist over time. Keep an eye out for those when they do appear. Uh, but for right now, uh, until those come... I'm going to say make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel. I know I've said that already, but I can't say it enough. Only way to get pe get uh, YouTube to uh, recognize your people are watching you. Uh, and in the meantime, I want to uh, conjure you to come back for the scenarios on the Glasgow subway. I do want to see what that is. I am curious what that is. And after that, I'm going to see if I can get uh, one of my older projects up here that still hasn't found the light of day. I know West Somerset Railway is still sitting out there. But in any case, let's go back to the scoring screen right now. Now you can see I got another achievement. So um, LD Talent Rush Hour. Now, I want to just point out something. Remember I showed you Scenario 4 and how you have to hack around to get Scenario 4 working right now because you can't get a score on it officially at all? 
I use the same scenario to get both of those achievements, guys. I use the same scenario. Uh, it's actually quite funny when you think about it. I use the same scenario for both achievements, but I did. Uh, so yeah, there's our next thousand points. You had 700 points on this one. And I got the uh, 700 or 800 on the last one using this exact same scenario because I had no other way to do it. The game wasn't accepting it on the regular scenario. And I've played it twice now, so I, I can tell you for sure that it's not accepting it. Uh, I've had enough of playing that I need to do other projects, so I'm not going to keep fighting that one all day. And I got my score and I'm done. So in the meantime, uh, have a wonderful day, evening, or night, whatever you speak, you're part of the world. I will see you next time, uh, probably for the Glasgow subway, like I said. And uh, I'm, I still have to give that a shot myself as soon as it comes out. So I don't even know what it's going to be like yet. But uh, I'll, I'll let you know when I, when I know what it's like. And I'm sure it'll be a lot of fun. In any case, have a wonderful day, evening, or night, once again, wherever you are in the world. I am Cyclone. I will see you next time for some subway action. Bye-bye.